the man from down under with a little thunder, WWE and Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer, Bushwhacker Luke. I hear something else comes from down under too. The Wrestling with Figs podcast with my mates Chris and James. You gotta tune into this great podcast because Chris and James will give you all the inside info. Whoa! Welcome, everybody, to episode 22 of the Wrestling with Figs podcast. I'm your host, James Thomas, and I cannot wait to get stuck in today's reveals. G'day, Chris. I'm your other host, Chris Maddock. Welcome, James. It is another huge fortnight in wrestling and in collecting. Nothing bigger than WrestleMania, the granddaddy of them all, the showcase of the immortals. Uh, have you watched it? Um, no, I haven't watched it. But I've heard nothing but raving reviews. I usually buy it on DVD, to be honest with you. I buy it on DVD as a, as a collector and I watch them then. Well, good luck with that because I'm pretty sure they're not releasing DVDs anymore for wrestling pay-per-views. But you never know. In Australia, it's luck of the draw. Um, yeah. I, I'll just give you my feedback on WrestleMania. Night one, firstly, I don't like having two nights. Don't like it. One night, I'll commit to my six hours of viewing and uh then I'll, I'll enjoy it but night one fantastic really really enjoyed it um enjoyed it so much more than i was expecting to uh thoughts that the return of stone cold could have been really bad but it, he actually pulled it off try to give vince the stunner and vince botched it completely vince had a double botch that like he's 74 or 76 yeah. years old but when the music hit for uh something i can't remember what it was he did the like shocked face turn but it wasn't the stone that he stunned vince at the the pat mcafee uh match but the music hit and uh, i already knew stone cold was going to do it uh from uh it was, i watched it on delay but then so he botched the look and then when he went for the stunner he botched it but stone cold eventually got him to fix it up and uh yeah very good laugh uh Great to see him involved because, you know, we don't know how long he's going to be around for. And um, Mate, if I, look, if I look like Vince McMahon at 70-something, I'm a very happy man. So is my wife. He's still actually. pretty jacked. He's still pretty oh, jacked. Oh, yeah, he looks great. He looks great. Very good. And so, yeah, the actual card was good. Didn't enjoy Night 2 as much. Uh, and why is that? Or, sorry, mate? Why is that? I just thought the matches weren't as good. I just felt it wasn't – it didn't have the same flow – one thing they've got to do with Mania is, like, if you watch it on delay, I can sort of skip forward 13 to 15 minutes, and that's just the entrances. Yeah, right. What? Like the, entrances, yeah. The, the entrances and the um, the preview of the match is too long. You go back and watch your old um, uh, WrestleMania 6, you might get a 30-second um, interview with Mean Gene before the wrestler comes out to fight. You might get a 45-second uh, backstory. But this is like five minutes of uh, clips and edits and music. And um, like, and then they show the same stuff over and over. And then some of the entrances just take too long. Get down to the ring. Get the match started. And don't stare at each other for 10 minutes before the match starts. Let's get straight into it. Uh, you might, you but, might have to write a letter. You might have to write a letter to... Uh... WWE headquarters, and uh, I'm sure they'll be very receptive to my uh, writings. But um, yeah. you know, if you're watching or you're listening now, if you're with me, like sign up and join up to Wrestling with Figs uh, at WrestlingWithFigs.com, and uh, <laughs> let us know your thoughts. Uh, and if you're not with, if you're not with me, don't worry about telling me that. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to know. Yeah. So overall, uh, I reckon eight out of ten. I reckon it was a really good event. Uh, kind of hooked me back in to watch a bit more wrestling. Uh, that's um, good. At the same yeah. time. You know, uh, there's certain things in wrestling at the moment that you just look at and go, mm. is, it, is it great? <laughs> no. For me, I watched uh, snippets of the Hall, um, Hall of Fame uh, inductees, which was uh, Undertaker's speech. That was really good. Uh, Vader, Steiner Brothers, and Queen Charmel, all of them were inductees for, for 2022. And I noticed uh, that Stone Cold Defining Moments, Mattel figure, they had loads of them on a shelf and they sold out within within a very short period. So that's 
that's pretty cool for Mattel and, and, the, and the collecting world, right? Because I wonder you know, what they were selling for. You know what the price was? No. Were they collector's price or their retail price? Uh, I'd say they'd be retail price. Can't yeah, imagine, cool. can't imagine them charging too much. But so that's pretty does cool. Mattel, does Mattel have all this stock sitting somewhere that we can buy at some point? Oh, who knows? Who knows? Hey, yeah, I've got to share a couple of funny things that have happened over the last two weeks. Firstly, you know I'm a big footy fan, AFL footy. Dockers, yep. who have been crap for about seven years, they've been really crap. They've won three out of their first four games. They're third on the ladder. The West Coast, our local rival team, have been absolutely debacle. So found this one. Firstly, looking for West Coast in the top eight. Can't find them there. Uh, <laughs> very nice. Uh, second funny one was out hunting at Toy Mate, and they did the dirty on Donatello on this Ninja Turtles um, uh, box, which was, was $119. Now, $100, missing purple turtle. Very disappointing that the person working there couldn't name Donny. Um, <laughs> you know, you couldn't just put missing Donatello. You had to put the purple turtle. Uh, it shows a lack of knowledge from their staff at Toy Mates. Uh, lift your game. And just before Mania, everyone was talking about who would be the mystery opponent of Seth Rollins. We now know it was Cody Rhodes. Great match. Uh, but... I saw this online. It says, imagine waiting to hear Cody's theme hit at WrestleMania while Rollins is in the ring, expecting to see him. And then you hear, I come from the money. And this guy comes out instead with a picture of Ted DiBiase Jr. And what I love about this, it's on a ringside roster wrestling news and rumors page. And Ted DiBiase Jr. has commented on the potential spoiler and said, they don't want to know this. (laughs) He's not doing it. I just love the fact that uh, he's taken the time to comment on a spoiler and say, not happening. Yeah, social media. Social media at its absolute best. But we've, we've got a huge show. We've got a huge show tonight. He's a junior, by the way. Underrated. I would have liked to have seen him have a better run. Oh, if he was anything like his dad, of course. Of well, course. best figure of all time from his dad's just been made. Let's talk about that later. <laughs> Yeah, we will talk about that. I'll talk about how you've uh, thrown me under the bus. Anyway, let's get into it, mate. You ready for this? Big show. Yeah, mate. This is a huge show. Community News. Community News. And as always, we'd like to thank Go Figure Collectibles for being our major sponsor of the Wrestling with Figs podcast. Without Go Figure, the podcast does not exist. Use code FDU5 to receive 5% off store-wide. And later on in the show, I'll share a piece that I've plucked from their website to promote what they actually sell in the store, which is, you know, they they do have the largest range of uh, wrestling figures, but they are, you know, pop culture, pop culture, my God, pop culture mad. So uh, get on there, wrestling with, sorry, wrestling with figs. Figurecollectibles.com.au, <laughs> check them out. A uh, uh, couple of things, mate, yeah. early days in the comments. Uh, for those of you listening, uh, you can join us live by joining the Figs Down Under Facebook group. Uh, James will mention that in a moment. But a couple of early comments. Pretty sure Stone Cold Figs were 40 US dollars at the um, Mania, which is not bad. I reckon it's not a bad price. Luke Young also says that they had to include the massive gaps between matches to add the ads in for the USA Peacock deal. Um and a lot of people asking whether we're going to be providing KFC after you naming this episode, Shut Up and Take My Money, which is <laughs> uh, KFC's sort of uh, tagline at the moment. I didn't even think of that. Oh, can we get sued for that or what? Probably, but it's on you, mate, because you, you're the um, owner of the uh, Wrestling uh, Fix pod, uh, 51% owner. So uh... both, both our names are on the uh, on the um, the credit card of the checkbook, mate. So we're it's both going under. Not my own. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. So figs down under community, as Chris just mentioned. Uh, you can join join and watch this live. You can ask questions as we go along. The community's great. Great bunch of guys and girls. And, um, yeah, great collectors around the country and around the world uniting and uh, supporting one another. So we'll see you at the figs down under community. Huge week of reveals. Huge week of reveals. And it's, I'm really pumped about this. So let's uh, – what do you want to start with, mate? Do you want to start with the prism cards? Look, let's go in the order that we set before, and then once we get through the first couple, we're just going to go hammer and tongs through the um, through the big reveals of Mania weekend. 
So we start with the prism card. So uh, the prism cards or the Panini prism cards have come out. They look incredible. So if you haven't yeah. seen them yet, you're missing out. But they are already being resold at stupid prices. Um, we'll bring up a couple on the screen here. So with the Hulk Hogan autograph oh, champion okay. card, beautiful looking card. Um, nice awesome. glow. I like the way they put the glow around his body, so it really frames the uh, the, yeah. the picture. Nice little auto Hulk Hogan. Obviously, people paying a lot of money for this, but Hulk Hogan not a hard auto to get. He signs yeah. a lot. The ones that I really like, and we've seen a few of them around, is the iconic rivals card. Two signatures: Bret the Hitman Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin on the same card. Possibly the greatest WrestleMania match of all time. The championship yeah. match between the two of them. In terms of a wrestling match, um, probably in my top five matches of all time. Uh, yeah, wow. That card is going to be worth a fortune. I don't know what they're numbered to. I think they might be numbered to 40 or it's either okay. 40 or, or 90. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, they look really, really cool. So I've already seen, I don't know what they were originally costing to retail the boxes, but I'm seeing them on eBay selling for. Between fifteen hundred Australian and two thousand Australian a box, so wow, it's pretty wow. crazy. I know um, there's a pay. I know David Leach has done a break on his page, his card break kid page. Shout out to David if you're watching or listening. Uh, and I know that Breaks Are Us, which is a guy named Ricky, he does a bunch of breaks. He's doing his first break now. He the spots on Breaks Are Us are twenty nine bucks a spot, and there's a twelve in fifty chance of actually winning a pack and two wow. autos per box so it's it's i guess breaks are always high risk high reward but if uh, people are looking at a way of getting into them there's that's there's breaks out there for you yeah absolutely i, I watched a, a short video on instagram um from cherry collectibles and someone's just made that comment here sorry i can't see your name whoever made that comment but i watched them do a uh uh a uh open up a few packs each and um, they were pulling some really nice looking cards. You know, when we talked about this the other well, a few podcast shows ago, and you brought up the cards, they were yeah. they look different to what I've seen. What is there a different box or something, or is there a different type? You, um, yours, all yours were orange. Do you remember? I can't remember. I can't remember what I showed you. Yeah, oh, it was like an Andre the Giant. Man, I, can't, I can't remember what I said yesterday or what I said today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. People people commenting here, again, you have to, on StreamYard, give permission through your Facebook to allow your name to come up on the screen and on the comments. But somebody's put the jewels are out of 25 and out of 10. So if you've got the out of 25 um, or even out of 10, that is incredibly rare. So yeah. super cool. Uh, really like it. Cherry have been going gangbusters. I've been watching a lot of their stuff while I've been on holidays at the moment. And uh, the cards they are pulling are so damn good. Yeah. So. Yeah, good on them. Awesome. All right, let's keep moving along. Next up, we've got Jazzwares. Uh, so they've, um, yeah, this Cody Rhodes. So what were dots that from? The Supreme? Unrivaled Supreme? So the Supreme? Unrivaled Supreme, which is their version of the Ultimates, um, the Cody Rhodes. Ironically, in the same gear he wore to WrestleMania as the surprise entrant for the Seth Rollins match, um, the it it is an incredible looking figure. Oh, looks amazing, and that that and that but all the three heads look like they're hand painted prototypes, right? So they've obviously recycled his body, but the face looks like a hand painted prototype head. Uh, but you know that that figure there is God. If you wanted to, if you wanted to choose one figure. That the picks Cody Rhodes, that is that is a cracker, absolute but cracker. I, I, you know, I've been collecting AEW figures, but I really want this. So uh, I want it for my collection. I've got a Cody Rhodes already, the first AEW Series 1, but, um, yeah, big fan. And, and the match, also, his, his WrestleMania match, outstanding. Was it? It was really good. His entrance was pretty I, cool. I saw that. I really liked it um, and just enjoyed you know, everyone sort of knew it was going to be him, but there was still that sort of seed of doubt. And then The Undertaker uh, sold it in his um, his Hall of Fame speech when he said, never say never. People started thinking, oh, maybe it's him. 